In my original video, I demonstrated this design for the Mini FPV H Quad. Well, in that video, I used this Turnigy 1811 2000 kV motor, and we saw that at about 75% throttle, we were able to get this thing to hover, and that was with a 800 milliamp 2S LiPo. So my conclusion in that video was I needed to go with something like this 3S LiPo. The unfortunate thing about that is these 1811 motors don't support anything more than a 7 volt input source. So what I'm going to do in this video is demonstrate these iPower motors. They support a 3S input. I believe these are 2200 kV. We're going to fly the same prop. But before I demonstrate that motor, what I've done here is I'm going to show you just a simple thrust test. Now, we'll call this the garage version of a thrust test because it's not too scientific, but it should give us a little bit of an understanding of how much thrust each one of these motors generates. And then we can compare that with the iPower motor. So what I've done is I've actually taped this motor down and I'm going to rotate the prop in a direction where it's going to push the thrust down. I have almost, it's about 0.75 ounces of weight. So one ounce is 28 grams. So at 0.75 ounces, that's roughly 20 grams. Now Hobby King states the weight of that motor is 10 grams. Now we incorporate the bullet connector and prop and I could see how that could get to about 20 grams. So once again, nothing too scientific. Let's see what happens when we throttle this guy up. We'll take a measurement and then I'll put on the eye power. Okay, everything's powered up with the 2S LiPo. I'm gonna go ahead and fire this guy up. You should see the scale start to rise. Let me go full throttle. We'll just call that three ounces. That's about 90 to 100 grams of thrust per motor. So anywhere from 360 to 400 grams of thrust total. Now, if you remember, this guy, when we weighed it in the previous video, was about 350 grams all up weight. So you can see we're 75% throttle. It's kind of what, where you need to be to hover. Okay, now we have the iPower 2200 kV motor. It supports both the 2S and the 3S battery. We'll start with the 2S. Now, if you're not familiar with the iPower, I've flown the 930 kV version on a larger quad frame for well over a year. It's been a good, reliable motor, and so that's one of the reasons I found this for the alternative uh, motor for this uh, mini quad. Let me go ahead and throttle up and let's see. Weight-wise, we started about the same as we did with the Turnigy. Let's go up to full throttle on the 2S. So we're right about three and a half ounces on the 2S battery. But like I said, really want to try this 3S, so we're gonna give it a go. Now, this is an older battery, uh, definitely larger profile. There are 850 milliamp 3S LiPos that are smaller and lighter than this. So uh, definitely something else that I will consider moving forward. But let's see what kind of thrust this generates with this motor and prop. So I have the 3S now connected. Let's see what we got going on. So just north of four ounces. So we'll just call that roughly 4.2 ounces per motor, which is 120 grams roughly. So 480 grams of thrust. Now you do have to account for the weight of the motor already displaying on that scale. Now, a lot of forums I've read and guys I've talked to recommend like a two to one thrust ratio. My buddy Zuki recommends a two and a half to one thrust to weight ratio. So we don't have a two to one thrust to weight ratio in this setup, but still gonna go ahead and, and give these a try, see how it feels with the 3S LiPo. Now, ultimately when you add more power, it comes at the expense of weight, so Battery is definitely heavier, so I'm going to give it a try and share my results. So I just wanted to show that somewhat non-scientific approach to measuring thrust. This is an old male scale, cost about 10 bucks. We just had it laying around, so I claimed it for this test. So I'll continue to keep you guys posted on the progress. Thank you for all the suggestions, comments, positive words. It's much appreciated, and until next time, thanks for watching.